Religion and abortion. Again, the same as fertility treatment, the Bible does not specifically mention abortion at all. However, Christians look for principles from the Bible to support their view. And for a long time now, uh, since actually the church started, most Christians have been opposed to abortion. And they uh, would use this quote, the sanctity of life, that all life has come from God and should be protected. And children, mostly they believe, uh, at that very, very early stage, should be uh, protected. Also, the Bible teaches in the Ten Commandments that you should not kill. And some people do think that um, abortion is actually ending the life of another human being. Uh, the Roman Catholics, for example, actually oppose abortion in nearly all circumstances. Um, however, the Church of England teaching states that abortion is wrong, but in certain circumstances they would uh, consider it something that is acceptable. Again, as I've just said, Roman Catholics have a very strong view on abortion. For example, they believe that life begins as soon as the sperm and egg come together, and this obviously is known as conception. They have a very strong view on the sanctity of life, and believe that every life is precious and should not be wasted, even at this very, very early stage of pregnancy. They believe that life should not be ended at all. They believe all abortion is the same as killing a human being and strongly believe in the quote, thou shalt not kill. Uh, and this quote forbids abortion from taking place. Catholics see adoption as a real alternative to abortion. They believe there are many families that could bring up and love a newborn child. The only time a Roman Catholic would allow abortion is if the mother's life is in danger, and this would be known as the double effect. Church of England and abortion. Uh, the Church of England teaches us that abortion should not happen. They believe in the sanctity of life and in the principle, thou shalt not kill. However, different to the Roman Catholics, they do accept that in some cases, it may be the lesser of two evils. Uh, they believe that Jesus showed compassion and love towards uh, the people he was with, and Christians should do the same. Uh, they would not consider it a particularly loving act to another human being to uh, make them feel forced to keep a child that they do, no, do not want. Therefore, in some situations, uh, the Church of England would allow uh, abortion to take place, but those situations are not by all means every situation, as they still believe in the sanctity of life.